two are better than one, because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. Thank you. And then I have a gift for you. Oh. Thank you. Is it a bicycle? Shannon, uh, it feels like the last three years have flown by. Maybe that's because you take every opportunity to tell any stranger who will listen that your husband is the top gun of the army. Or maybe it's because we have packed more moves, TV episodes, and adventures than I ever could have imagined in the last three years. It hasn't been all sunshine and rainbows, but it's been ours, and for that I am eternally grateful. The growth, strength, and determination that I have been blessed to see for the past three years has been an incredible privilege. Watching you step on the outside of your comfort zone and accept a job where you are challenged every day, where you fight for your faith and for those who can't fight for themselves is incredible to be a part of. It is blatantly apparent to everyone who knows you, but I want to take this moment in front of our friends and family to say how incredibly proud of the woman you have become. You're crazy, but you're crazy as beautiful. Babe, the last three years have been the hardest but best of my life. I'm so thankful to be standing here today, renewing my commitment to you and our marriage in front of God and our friends and family. Being your wife is one of my greatest joys. Thank you for choosing me to walk this journey with you. Today I vow to love and honor you for the rest of my life, to choose you when things are hard, and to celebrate you when things are joyful. I vow to pursue Christ, to pray for and with you, to root myself in being a godly woman. Thank you for growing with me, loving me when I'm hard to love, and always being quick to forgive. I vow to see you for the incredible man that you are, the man that God designed you to be, knowing we are both imperfect and fearfully and wonderfully made. On this day, May 28th, 2022, I make these vows to you. I love you so much, John Ryan McCoy. Ryan, do you take Shannon to continue <laughs> to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love her, to comfort her, to honor and keep her for better or worse, for richer or poorer? in sickness and in health, in forsaking all others to be faithful for her and to her for as long as you both shall live. Thank you. I do. <laughs> and Shannon, do you take Ryan to continue to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him for better or worse? for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, in forsaking all others, be faithful only to him, so long as you both shall live. I do. Well, this is the part we've been waiting for, all right? I pronounce you guys again as husband and wife. And Ryan, you can kiss your bride, my man.
Those of you that don't know me, I am Shannon's maid of honor. Um, <laughs> Shannon and I have been best friends for about five years now. We met in film school in Aurora, Colorado on the set of a director's workshop where I got to do her makeup just like I got to do today. Well, while I was doing her hair and makeup, she noticed my cross necklace and we started talking about Jesus. After that, we were inseparable for at least a semester and then she left me. <laughs> It's all been long distance, but thanks to the Lord, we have managed to stay amazing friends through all of it. Something really special about Shannon and Ryan's story is that they've known each other since Bruce was coaching Ryan's tennis team. That would place them at meeting at ages 11 and 14. I'm sure they didn't realize that they had met their soulmate at such a young age. She even kept a tennis ball he had decorated without realizing it was his. And over the years, they were able to grow something far beyond a decorated tennis ball and built a foundation that is strong. They don't only love each other, but thanks to many years they have spent together, they know each other. And that's what a good foundation in a relationship requires, is knowing your person. Marriage is a special blessing that is meant to not only share life with the one we love most, but it calls us to become more like Christ. My favorite things about Shannon and Ryan is their unwavering faith. They have walked through so many seasons of life together, and each step of the way they have depended on God. You can see it through the mercy that they have for others and the grace that they have for each other when times don't seem to be going the way they thought it would. So Shannon and Ryan, keep building that foundation. Never stop getting to know each other, keep having fun, enjoy your lives together, and above all else, never stop growing your faith. Jesus has brought you two together, and thank God for that. So, cheers. Um, I'm Clay, I'm Ryan's best buddy, and we've been buddies since high school. Um, we met during youth group and um, one night and haven't looked back. We've totaled a car together, um, we've slept in the deserts of Mexico, we've slept in a car on the beach, um, we've trashed his family's boat a few times. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> um, we surfed with seals in the middle of the night and later found out that it was prime time for sharks. Um, we've played an obscene amount of Catan and disc golf. Um, yeah, I can never get enough of you. <laughs> In all honesty, Ryan, you're the most generous, caring, loving, and loyal friend I could ask for. Um, you're a guy who can, we can lean on when times are rough, and a guy who is always there when we need you. Um, you're an amazing man of God, and you walk firm in that. Um, Shannon, I know you already know all these things, um, but I pray that as time goes on, things will grow even stronger. Um, I'm excited for your future that you two are going to build. I'm excited for all the game nights you're going to host, Shannon. <laughs> and I'm excited to see how God works with the two of you in years to come. Um, I want to thank both of you for planning such an amazing day. This is awesome. Um, I want to propose a toast. If you guys could raise your glass to Ryan and Shannon. I love you guys, and I'm happy for you. Cheers.
god, you are just such a giving god. <laughs> thank you for this man, thank you for his heart, Jesus. Thank you for the way that he just so intentionally blessed on me, God. Thank you for our life that we are building by your grace, God. Thank you for our union three years ago, God, and the opportunity to celebrate. So we give you our day, we give you our people, we give you our love, we give you our marriage, God. Um, let your will be done in this place. Lord, and we love you so much. Dear Heavenly Father, God, thank you uh, so much for today, for the opportunity to have this day uh, three years in the making, Lord, uh, for the chance to get to recommit to this beautiful woman who has been by my side through thick and thin, who uh, has taken every challenge, every obstacle, uh, just right by my side, Lord, and uh, has loved me through it all uh, in my best moments and my worst moments, God. Uh, Lord, just thank you for this woman who continues to be the best thing that you've ever given me, God. In your name we pray.